Kenya, along with other African countries, is making strides in preventing the spread of AIDS. But according to Executive Director of UNAIDS, Winnie Bianima, harmful laws and policies in many countries are putting their life-saving work in jeopardy. She spoke exclusively to KTN News. Thank you so much for agreeing to the interview. Briefly bring us up to speed in relation to AIDS on the continent. There has been tremendous progress. Today we have about 24 million people on treatment. In 2000, we had only about 50,000 people on treatment. So more people are testing and more people on treatment and living long and healthy lives. AIDS-related deaths have declined by one third since 2010 in nine years. So there is progress on getting people tested, getting treatment globally. But East and Southern Africa have made a lot of strides when it comes to prevention, but it still remains one of the most affected regions in the world. Why is this? On prevention, we're not making as much progress. Uh, last year alone, 1.7 million people were newly infected. Now that's unacceptable because we know how to prevent HIV infection. But there are many barriers in the way of very many people from accessing the science that can help them to prevent. There is something called pre-exposure prophylaxis, which can be taken a pill every day that can prevent someone who's vulnerable to infection from getting infected. If you are on treatment and your viral load is suppressed to undetectable levels, then you also don't transmit. So that's also a preventive method. There are condoms. There are many ways of prevention, but unfortunately, many groups of people don't have access to it. And other barriers come into play. Like in Africa, for women and girls, they have a high level of infection, higher than men and boys. And that is to do with the society we live in, discrimination against women, violence against women and girls. May, very often for an African girl, her first encounter, sexual encounter, is forceful, is violent. So that lack of control over their own bodies makes them more vulnerable. And then sexual reproductive health, HIV services not being available to young people young women especially, where they are, to be able to protect themselves. Are government putting in place enough policies to ensure that preventions are actually at play? Let's remove laws that are criminalizing certain groups of people from coming to and preventing them from coming to access testing and treatment, such as the laws that criminalize homosexuality, such as in my own country, I have argued that, you know, it's not the business of government to moralize the sexual orientation of someone, whoever they choose to love and go to bed with, should be a private matter. And if anybody should moralize, it should be the religious, the moralists, religious leaders, not government. The role of government is to deliver services to all its people without discrimination. For governments, their aim should be we must end this pa pandemic. We must give everybody their right to health. We must reach everybody with testing, treatment, and prevention without judgment.